today we're going to be doing a snake braid. So I'm just going to start with a piece of hair about this size, I guess. And I'm going to braid it at an angle because I want her braid to come out like this so that way when we tie it back it'll look cute. So I'm just going to split this into three sections and do a normal braid. And her hair is really, really long, so this may take a couple seconds. And if her hair is really long like hers, then you're going to want to make your braid a little bit thicker. So that way when you get to the bottom, your pieces won't be so tiny. Pull your head. Thank you. So when you start hitting the end is where you can is when you can decide when you want to stop your braid. So now we're going to take these three pieces and the middle one we're going to ignore. We're going to take the two ends and put them together so they're like this. And then I'm going to hold them right where they end and I'm just going to pull up. And don't worry if the middle piece gets kind of messed up. You can always run a comb through there. So now I'm just going to pull these pieces slowly away, starting from the, clo the starting at the top of her head. Never pull straight down. Just always go straight from the top of the head. And then it'll look like a little snake running through, and you can separate them as much as you want. I'm going to leave hers like that, and I'm going to take a hair tie. And I'm just going to secure this. And you guys can use a bobby pin, but we don't have any bobby pins because I'm at my cousin's house. So we're just going to tie it off. And then I'm going to unravel the rest of that braid. And when you tie it back, it'll be tied like this. But hers is just going to kind of fall because it's tied with a um, hair tie. So that is the look, and I hope you guys enjoyed. All right, I'll see you guys next time.